coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. I've never heard an elk bugle. I've never seen an elk. <laughs> and that, that all happened in that, in that one night. Welcome to this week's show, guys. This is part two of the kids' show. Previously, we had a Leo over in Ohio. I mean, she got two beautiful deer with her brownie crossbow. I was here in Illinois. I got a nice turkey. All right, so for this week, we got bear, elk, turkey, and white-tailed deer from Illinois. Wonder who that could be. I mean, we got a lot of footage to show you guys, so let's get right to it. All right, let's go. Said hi in a tree stand with his father, and with expectations said hi, Luke is ready for some action with his Hoyt. It's uh, bear season in Manitoba. We found an awesome spot and uh, lots of good sign and stuff. So uh, we set up a tree stand. Uh, last year we tried a couple spots. I couldn't go bow hunting though. I had to go with a crossbow because I broke my collarbone. And uh, this year is my first year with bow, so a little nervous, but you know, got my tag earlier this morning and uh, ready to go. Excited about today. I went out three times. We had two different spots set out. One was the tree stand, one was the ground blind. The first hunt, we there was a couple small bears that came on the bait. We were hunting out of the tree stand and um, not a lot of big, big bear action, but it was just kind of fun to watch. It was a good first hunt. The second hunt, we were in the ground blind and you really, really get up close and personal with the bears. They, uh, they like to come towards you and they, you can hear them eating and stuff, and it's cool. The third hunt, we were back in the tree stand, and um, really nothing came in for a very, very long time. I was very excited. I remember my dad saying that he couldn't do the camera quite right because I was shaking the stand so much. <laughs> but it's very, very exciting when you shoot something with a bow and it's that close and you've been waiting for that long. Why are you shaking so bad? Look at that. Look at the camera. Enjoy the moment, buddy. You're a stud. Good job. You waited and waited and waited. chest is pounding. Eventually we got on the ground and kind of settled for a bit and uh, we tried to get out of there. Before we went, we, uh, we went and we found uh, half the arrow and a bit of blood, but not enough to go on for the night and it was getting pretty dark outside so we head, headed home. Uh, next morning we woke up bright and early <laughs> Accompanied by his dad and grandfather, Morning, Papa. and with his mother behind camera, Luke begins the search for his bear. It's a family affair, and with morning dew reducing blood visibility, Luke needs all the help he can get. Oh, well, there, there's some for sure. So, Mom, you can so when we got there, blood was really, really, really hard to find. 
No, I just we saw a running oak. I started giving Luke the uh, the same speech I I give a guest when uh, when it looks like maybe the blood trail is going to peter out, and uh, just to get him prepared. And we kept fanning out a little bit, and, and his grandfather all of a sudden just said he found him. And... No, 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 no. I think it's more now. Good job. Oh, wow. That's a big dude. Wow. That's a big bear. That's a nice bear. <sighs> I don't get to do this too often, so. Nice bear. Last week of the season up here in Manitoba. I was using a Nightmare by NAP with my Hoyt Ruckus bow. Who's the best guide in the world? Coffee. <laughs> no, sit down, get back to here. <laughs>
With his father behind camera, the team heads out. This will be Luke's first time hearing an elk bugle in person, and the experience doesn't disappoint. I've never heard an elk bugle, an elk fight, an elk scrape. Uh, I've never seen an elk, <laughs> and or a, a bull elk live, um, and that, that all happened. Check the wind again. The wind had switched a bit, and so the way we worked towards the other elk, we had to change direction a bit. New Mexico is really cool. There's a lot of mountains and a lot of valleys, and you you can see for quite a ways when you get on one to on top of one of the mountains. And the elk normally hang out on the side of mountains or in the valleys, so you have quite a, quite a good view. Um, it's it's quite fun to glass because you can glass for quite a ways out and we ended up finding uh, a good six by six. Where we were there wasn't a lot of tree cover so we had to be really silent and really really deliberate with our moves. Um, we couldn't make a lot of mistakes at this point. Elk have really good sight and hearing and um, they are quite hard to stalk in on and that's what makes it such a fun hunt. Once the bull is spotted, it becomes a waiting game. With so much distance and brush, Luke wants to ensure that his shot will be accurate and ethical. Um, it was kind of, all you could see was the antlers. Um, they're quite distracting. And it, it, its body was still mostly in the bush, so we had to wait for a bit. Um, so you know the adrenaline's pumping pretty good now, so it's hard to wait, but soon enough an opportunity presented itself. If you're uh, looking for the footage of the, uh, the impact, you're probably not going to see it because when we set up the last time on the bull and we were 333 yards away and Luke got down and they set up the bog pod and he was getting all ready, I was over the shoulder doing what I'm supposed to do and I was filming. Um, super dad, uh, great packer, meat cutter, caper, uh, just a really, really bad cameraman on this trip. So uh, my bad, sorry Luke. Uh, so Luke has now the biggest bull elk in the family and we have to listen to that for the next little while. Yep. He smells good. Got After about five minutes of high-fiving and laughing, we uh, walked up to my bull and it was exciting. That's my first elk that I've ever taken, never mind bull, and it was quite a way to start off my elk journey. <laughs> Look at that bull. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. What do you think of that? It's so good. What? There's. <laughs> oh, wow. So, is that your biggest elk ever? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, think it's, do you think it's bigger than dad's? Better be. What about mom's? Check. Cool. Considering that two days ago you'd never heard an elk bugle, never even saw a live bull elk, um, and two days later you're walking up to your big bull elk, um, it's it's quite it's quite a happy experience. <laughs> He's got everything, buddy. Boy, that looks heavy. It, it just, it all came together and so quickly, it's, 
it's normally not that easy, so it was it was a great hunt. I really really had fun. Hey, we're back here in Illinois, and I, th I think it's your turn now. All right. It's Kids Week, part two on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. We're finding my giant bear. After watching Luke take an impressive black bear and large bull elk, and Aaliyah harvesting a beautiful tom, it's Danny's turn to shine. It's archery season in Illinois, and Danny is set high in a tree stand with her browning crossbow. It's archery season in Illinois, and I decided to bring out my browning crossbow today. Um, it's the first time this season I get to hunt in these woods. I was lucky this week because it's the middle of the week, and uh, I don't have school today because it's parent-teacher conferences, so I have a good feeling about this stand, and. I hope we see some deer tonight. So yesterday getting to the woods, we had a really rough start. It was just so loud getting in here. So many down limbs and everything was just so loud. So we really wasn't, we weren't sure how the outcome would be um, for the hunt, but we were successful. And then this morning we came back to find him and and um, I was I was pretty relieved that he he didn't run that far after I shot him, but uh, we, we did recover him, so I'm, I'm pretty grateful for that but it was a fun hunt overall. And even if it, the start's not so good, well, the outcome can still be pretty amazing. Congratulations on your first buck, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Dad and I had a great time in the stand. Fantastic quality time. You gotta love it. Oh yeah. And I mean, we have to give a huge congratulations to Aaliyah and Luke. Luke got two beautiful, a bear and an elk in one year, that's insane. Yeah, that's Aaliyah awesome. got some nice turkey. Mm -hmm. I mean, this year's just been incredible. Everyone's yeah. been good, getting Great good animals. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's insane. But thanks for watching us this week. Thanks for making your choice. That choice. Have a good one.